so guys i am a verified educator on an online learning platform called on academy right where i am making courses for gate examination both in hindi and english right so you can download the on academy learning app search my name over there act and follow me on that particular platform for awesome videos on the gate chemistry examination so a very good morning to all of you and today i am going to talk about something which we as chemists neglect a lot and that is our safety right so don't think of it as a boring safety video i'm just going to share with you one particular incident of a really reputed chemist and his name is barry sharpless right so see lab accidents keep happening every now and then in fact if you do a google search or if you find some websites you will see a lot of them uh, which report lab accidents some of them are preventable some of them are not preventable but we can learn something from these lab accidents and there's something that we can do uh, to protect ourselves that is wear safety goggles and have gloves um, like wear gloves right now talking about safety goggles uh, i hope all of you know about Barry Sharpless, right? So Barry Sharpless, all of you like are aware, he's won a Nobel Prize already, and um, he has a lot of name reactions after him: Sharpless epoxidation, Sharpless dihydroxylation, Sharpless amination, and in fact, in your CS standard exam, you'll see so many questions from Sharpless uh, name reactions, right? And he was also the, um, you can say, kind of he developed click chemistry as well, right? So he is a fascinating chemist, but many of you would not be knowing that he's blinded by one eye. And this ha incident happened in 1970s, right? So I'll attach a link from where I read this article. He was an assistant professor at MIT. So there's an article in MIT for which I'll attach a la uh, link down below in the description box. Now this incident is uh, quite tragic, but it's uh, but you learn a lot as well, right? Uh, from that particular incident. So uh, what happened was in 1970s he was an assistant professor, and he always used to wear safety goggles in the lab all the time, right? But one day he was like he was going out of the lab and so he kept his safety goggles down and he like he was taking off from work and he was going outside the lab and he saw a grad student and he was doing a procedure which is called sealing of nmr tubes all right so why do you seal nmr tubes well uh, there are certain compounds which are air sensitive or moisture sensitive so for doing the nmr of those compounds you need to seal the nmr tube you need to add the compound to that and then seal the nmr tube right so there was the student who was sealing the nmr tube and when barry sharpless was walking outside the lab he saw the student and he asked him that what are you doing and uh, he told him that i'm sealing the nmr tube and none of them like neither barry sharpless nor that uh, student had actually you know searched for the protocol that what is the protocol to seal a nmr tube and he was sealing it in liquid nitrogen right so to maintain a cold atmosphere he was sealing it in liquid nitrogen i would not go into the details of the procedure because that will dilute what this video is all about that i can discuss in some other video so i'll not go into the whole procedure but he was doing it in liquid nitrogen so uh, he so Barry Sharpless asked him are you done with it he said yes I have, I have sealed the animal tube so he gave it to Barry Sharpless the ba Barry Sharpless took it up and looked up looked at the um, looked up at the animal tube and he saw there was a lot of liquid inside it like the solvent was in excess and suddenly he, sa he saw that the solvent dropped okay so you can see like this is the animal tube and he saw generally we take this much solvent only in an animal tube but when he was seeing the animal tube maybe he saw a lot of solvent in that and suddenly that level dipped okay suddenly that level of the solvent dipped and before he could realize so i'll tell you what happened liquid nitrogen has a temperature of around minus 196 degrees celsius all right and oxygen liquefies at around a temperature of minus 185 degrees celsius so what had happened was and in, in fact argon also liquefies uh, at that temperature around that temperature so uh, what, what what had actually happened was that oxygen had liquefied at that temperature in when it was dipped in liquid nitrogen even the oxygen condensed and it liquefied okay so that excess solvent that he was seeing was actually liquefied oxygen and as soon as he took it out from the liquid nitrogen suddenly the oxygen that had been liquefied it again uh, it again you know uh, it boiled off and it became gaseous in nature and suddenly when so much liquid became gaseous in nature the solvent ratio fell but now there's so much gas and so much pressure inside the nmr tube that the nmr tube before he could react burst and he did not get any face cuts at all i mean the nmr tube is a very thin tube so it burst but since he was looking at it like that much of much of the uh, uh, glass shreds went into his eye 
and uh, for about i think about a week or so he was in the hospital and uh, the doctors told him that due to a condition called sympathetic ophthal ophthalm ophthalmia yeah sympathetic ophthalmia uh, he could be blinded by both the eyes so he was really worried but uh, thankfully his one eye got saved and but like he was blinded by one eye so in the end what he said was that no matter what happens there is never a good excuse to not wear safety goggles in the lab right so always definitely wear safety glasses in the lab it's a must uh, you know many of you take it in a very light manner but you know just wear the safety glasses like is it worth it to lose your eyesight uh, just because you don't want to wear the damn safety glasses it's not worth it so please please follow these protocols it's for your own good and I, I could not quote any other incident uh, apart from Barry Sharpless because Barry Sharpless is a well reputed scientist and I know that you know it happens it's a, it's, a, it's psychology that when a very well something happens to a very well reputed scientist only then we consider it to be serious otherwise we just take it very lightly right so always do wear safety glasses I do not have safety glasses in my eye uh, with me right now I only have these uh, normal glasses so I'll just wear them for the dramatic effect right so do wear the safety glasses uh, it's really important and uh, be safe and work hard but be safe and have fun with chemistry thank you